It's not easy to let someone go. We all have a need to belong. But sometimes we can get stuck by spending our energy on someone who drains us, leaving behind self-doubt and feelings of unworthiness. We must protect our hearts for everything we do flows from it. When people reject you, I'll cast you, and you haven't done anything to them. Let them go. There is a blessing behind every adversity in our lives. Don't worry about the people that God is removing from your life. He can see things you can't see. He can hear conversations you can't hear. Some people come into our lives for a reason, others just for a season. We can't confuse seasonal people with lifetime expectations. We must recognize when a season is over because God is not going to close a door without opening an even bigger one. So if they reject you, welcome it. Thank God. Even in the frustration and loneliness, believe that nothing happens in this world by mistake. And what God has started in your life, He's going to finish. He will even allow toxic people who are against you to deceive you, try to move you out of your purpose, who will give you a phony smile in your face, but a heart full of slander and malice behind your back. The thing is, people cannot stop what God has planned for you. We can't stay in relationships just because they feel familiar. People only change if they want to change, but we cannot make anyone change. Let them go. If they were meant to be with us, they couldn't leave. Think about the time and efforts you have spent trying to make things work. When you have tried to please someone in more ways than you ever tried for anyone else, still, it wasn't good enough. You've been the best you could. You voiced how their actions make you feel. And they continuously disregard your feelings. Why? They think you owe them perpetual loyalty? Relationships play a big part in our growth. We are who we surround ourselves with. If we don't feel mentally, spiritually, and emotionally stimulated in a relationship, if we don't feel inspired to go further, work harder, become better, we must make a decision. You don't simply throw people away, but after you make effort after effort, it's time to take a stand. Let them go. Allow the space to be empty for a minute. Don't be afraid to be alone. Embrace solitude. That is the time God has created for you to work on yourself. Loss always causes pain, and that's okay. But after we cry, feel sad, we brush the dust off and go on with our lives. It's a new season of your life. You have greatness inside. And you won't find it if you continue to put your dependence on other people. You are going to a different place. You realize there are so many people who need and appreciate your love and attention. Spending time and energy on one person who keeps draining your mental strength will keep you from achieving your success. It'll make you forget your own self-worth. And sometimes, it'll be too late. Don't hurt yourself for someone else. Forgive them. Forgive the past. Forgive yourself. It's time to let it go and move on. God gives us a chance every day. When we wake up, our hearts are beating, we are breathing, we open our eyes. If He gives us this new chance every day, what are we doing to stay in the past? 
do your best every day. Some days your best will be different and that's okay. As long as your conscience is clear that you have acted with love, kindness and compassion, don't allow anyone to keep you stuck or make you feel guilty. Protect your peace. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but as you embrace solitude and work on yourself, you will start to recognize your strengths and limitations. Your identity will be shaped and your character revealed. You will overcome obstacles that you never thought you could and you will start to love and respect yourself. That will bring you so much fulfillment that you won't let anyone destroy you. It'll get easier and easier. You can't be happy with anyone else until you find happiness within. Look at the people in your life and ask yourself, is it them or you? Who will you choose? You make the decision. But above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Bad company corrupts good character. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have remained with us. But this happened so that it may be manifested that they did not belong to us. Jesus would frequently make a point to be alone, looking within, praying, spending time in nature. He taught his disciples that if people didn't listen or rejected them, for them to dust themselves off and leave. The single person has time to take care and think of the things that are important to God. And above all else, guard and protect your heart for everything you do flows from you.